Okay, sasa yule daktari wa Rigathi Gashagwa, niseme daktari wa Rigathi Gashagwa au daktari ambaye alikuwa anashughulikia Rigathi Gashagwa. I'm not sure kama ni daktari wake. But kwa sababu yeye ndo alitupea taarifa kuhusu Rigathi to assume kwamba ni daktari wake. Amezungumza kuhusu uh, afya ya naibu aliyekuwa naibu wa rais kwa kusema kwamba Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa has been uh, diagnosed with um, Takot Subo cardiomyopathy commonly known as broken heart ya yeah, tukua tunaoa chanu broken heart hii nyingine hii hapa itatusumbua kidogo <laughs> okay syndrome this condition affects the heart's ability to pump efficiently by weakening the left ventricle the main pumping uh, chamber so kwa wale ambao walikuwa naulizia jamani ni kitu kipi kilikuwa kinamfanya Rigathi Gashagwa ile siku uh, ndo hiyo hapo daktari ameshatuambia nilitamani kujua hii sasa inaletwa na nini kwa sababu sasa mimi sijui mambo haya but kwa niaba ya mtu ambaye labda anaweza akaiona na you know unaweza kaa wewe oh, na uko hapo na kumbo una hiyo ugonjwa eh na haujui labda so inaletwa na nini so what causes uh, broken heart syndrome hiyo nyingine hiyo stage hiyo hiyo hapo ya kunani hiyo kutamka imekuwa ni ngumu kidogo hiyo utanisamehea so what causes broken uh, heart syndrome ni two kinds of stress kuna emotional na kuna physical mm -hmm. often cause broken heart syndrome but while most people with this condition experience a stressful event up to 30% of uh, patients have no identifiable trigger at the time of their initial uh, symptoms ndio but again hebu tuangalie how to stop eh? uh, broken heart syndrome Although there is no cure uh, for broken heart syndrome uh, tokotsubo tokotsubo okay cardiomyopathy ah, most people make a full recovery, recovery after taking medicine medications for broken heart syndrome treatment include aspirin to improve circulation and pre, uh, prevent blood clot so um sidhani sasa ni ugonjwa fulani hivi okay ni, ni so sio ndogo ni ugonjwa ambao sio ndogo vile lakini um ndo avoid and at some point na feel mimi na wewe tushaikuwa na ugonjwa huu hapa <laughs> eh hey, hii, hii broken heart hii hapa hii tunakuwa nayo kwa sababu stress kwa maisha ya sasa hivi ni, ni kitu cha kawaida sana hii maisha imekuwa magumu eh sasa hivi unaona wanafunzi i mean watoto wanafunga shule wanarudi manyumbani hiyo ni stress nyingine hadi stress sio tu mtoto kwenda shule stress ni mtoto atakurudi tena nyumbani kwa sababu sasa hapo eh, ugali lazima upikwe kubwa lazima utafute mboga nyingi stress ni nyingi wamepaswa nini vitu ni vingi ona pesa kazi yako ai you know mambo kama hayo so at some point uh, mimi na mimi tushaikuwa na matatizo haya and i na, na i remember not i kumbuka but i remember ile siku tulikuwa sene tulikadhika shagwa alikuwa na stress nyingi sana kiukweli eh yani hakuimagine kwamba anaweza kukaa pale and sasa watu wana discuss namna ambavyo wanafaa kutolewa uh, na mambo kama hayo alafu wakati ulifika pale wa kujibu maswali ikawa ni noma you know kapani kino na ile situation hata wewe unge panic and uh, stress zikawa nyingi sana na mambo yakawa ndio hivyo but again ni, ni unadhani ni nini ni nini hiyo ina ina ilimstress il sana uh, rugedi keshagwa of course uh, swala la kutolewa kwenye ofisi you know unawaza mawazo ni nyingi sana but again mawazo yanaletwa na vitu umeelewa unawaza nini na kwa nini uh, number one, i'm very sure kama kuna kitu kilikuwa kinamsumbua na bado kinamsumbua mpaka leo rigadhi gashagwa ni namna ambavyo Ruto kulingana na yeye Ruto amemgeuka so ana stress ya ah, yani ana mawazo stress ni ni kukumbuka mawazo na think zaidi like huu huu jamani nilimfanyia makosa gani yani mpaka anakuja kuni kuni dump au anakuja kuambia watu anitoe mpaka na nini fikra unanunafikiria zaidi em kwa nini ananifanyia hivi uh, uh, William Samoto i think ilikuwa inamuumiza sana alafu namba 2 uh, pale pale kwenye senate kuna vitu alikuwa anaambiwa and he was like sasa jamani nilisema shares sawa lakini sasa taruto pia alisema shares eh one of the things ambazo najua alikuwa anaelewa na he kept on um, telling people kwamba you know it, it's something ambayo imekuwa I didn't invent this thing. Mimi so mtu ambaye nilikuja na historia ya shares. 
akakutajia mpaka na mifano huko Etangula alipata shares Gudavadi alipata shares Amazon King alipata ni mimi ndo sikupata shares so it's something ambayo ilikuwa pale yani mimi ni na nani nilikuwa naiongezea tu volume kidogo eh ali insist kabisa na aliendelea kuisema umeniona sijui and again kitu kingine ambacho najua kilikuwa kinampa stress nyingi yani alikuwa anakumbuka najua na hata sasa hivi bado kinamumaga sana regardi kashagwa kwa nili alimhangaisha uhuru Kenyatta kwa nili aliangaisha uhuru Kenyatta mimi wacha nikwambie kitu There is no way Rigathi angetolewa hivyo kama angekuwa mtu fulani kitu ambacho kiliharibu ni namna ambavyo ali, ali, ali you know alimvuruga huko Kenyatta. Si unajua uhuru ana watu wengine huko Mlima Kenya. So wale watu as much as hawakufurahia kitu ambacho kilifanyika au kinaendelea kwa Rigathi na Ruto. Na wao pia at some point wanamlaumu Rigathi kwa sababu alimfanyia hivyo uhuru. Alafu uhuru naye alimuonya na akaonya pia na watu kuhusu William Samoe Ruto. So yani inamwaga sana like ah, why did I do this? Kwa nini nilimvuruga huyu brother? Huyu brother hata angenisaidia. And I'm very sure ange, ange, angesaidiwa. Yaani hiti sisi anataka kuto no, kama angekuwa na mahusiano mazuri na Uhuru Kenyatta, trust me, angemsaidia kwa sababu Uhuru na Raila these are close people. And hawa wabunge hawangefanya uh, kitu ambacho kilifanyika. So I'm, I'm very sure anawaza sana. Anawaza sana lakini pia hiyo time it was too late kwa sababu ange resign ingekuwa afadhali sasa hivi suno atujui atujui wana wana wanasimama wapi yani watarudi tena siku nyingine au ndo kabisa hawatarudi tena team rigathi gashagwa you know kuwania labda uh, nafasi ya unaibu wa rais au nafasi ya rais na depend na nani ataenda na yeye so hizo hizo mawazo ya you know itakuwaaje watu wakinitoa itakuwaaje umelelewa. Ya yeah, lakini pia stress ya kuwa tu mtu wa kawaida after that you know uh, ulikuwa deputy president umeshatolewa unaanza kupiga piga hesabu nitaishi vipi. Not that hana pesa. You know people people think um, I mean people think that sasa kwa, kwa sababu wewe una, una fedha mambo yanaenda vizuri hapana. Yule alishakuwa kwenye nafasi kubwa sana. Dunia nzima yani kwa namna moja au nyingine inamjua inamuelewa. Umenipata yupo kwenye historia na nini sasa yani kurudi tena mtu wa kawaida alafu tena ni mtu wa kawaida ambaye aweze akawania aweze akasiwa akafanya nini na, na, na siasa kuna namna ambavyo kuna kuangaishana ha ah, jamaa yani akawa na stress nyingi akawa na stress nyingi sana and of course um, unajua kwenye kwenye serikali one thing ambao hawasemagi au waambi wananchi ni kwamba kule watu wanakulaga vizuri hasa tena hata ukifikiria bwana nikitolewa hapa hizi mabilioni hizi sitakuwa nazo Ah, kwani wewe ni nani ukaza jamani? Mabilioni waga ni nyingi sana hapo. Sasa utakaza vipi hapo? E, lazima unakuwa unafikiria sana, yani kichwa kina bust. Ah, tafanyaje hapa? Nitafuata njia gani? Nita, you know, nita. Hmm? Alafu pia na kufikiria you know, familia yake, you know, namna ambavyo walikuwa promised, hawataangaishwa, unaona na mambo haya ambayo yanaendelea, unanyang'anywa security utolewe pale upelekwe nyumbani umenyang'anywa magari wafanye kazi wamefukuzwa so it's not haikuwa rahisi haikuwa rahisi yani ugonjwa huu hapo lazima tu yani hata kama angekuwa mwanaume ingekuwa ni noma ilikuwa ni noma sana mtazamaji wangu and i can imagine maisha ambayo amekuwa kiishi Raila Odinga kwa sababu Raila amepitia hii hii hata ifiki kwa ya Raila kwa watu ambao wameangaishwa ah Raila ameangaishwa kwa muda mrefu na ndio maana ukimwonaga kwenye serikali anajua ni wapi anakula <laughs> wacha kule <laughs> yani huyo um, ameangaika kiukweli kwa 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 muda mrefu though mimi i don't support kula but tutafanya nini so uh, regarding gashagwa tunamwombea by the way you no know, at the end of the day ni binadamu um, kama sisi hapa atumtakii mabaya Uh, inabidi tumuombe tu kama atapata nafuu sawa uh, kufikiria kwingi kutaisha tu with time you know sasa hivi najua anaendelea kupambana ili vitu vinyooke isionekane na namna ambavyo labda Ruto na timu yake walitaka ku I mean walitaka ionekane but again uh, with time I'm very sure atakuwa sawa atakuwa vizuri and uh, everything will be okay so uh, daktari atujui kama anakuwa admitted admitted tena but tumemwona tumemwona juzi akielekea juzi au jana ujuzi akienda um, mahakamani so 
inamaanisha ana improve si ndio ana improve watu ambao walikuwa nadhani ana fake ana improve and uh, stress naye alikuwa nayo as much as oh, kipindi hiyo aliogopa stress alikuwa nayo hiyo hiyo atwezi tukafanya nini uh, tukakata but ndo maisha ya siasa leo upo kwenye power kesho unazungushwa kesho nyingine si unahangaishwa unapangiwa and na mambo kama hayo so unaweza kaniachia maoni yako hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments una advice vipi uh, regarding shaga for me uh, the more anaendelea na hizi stories the more anakuwa na stress the more vitu vinaendelea ku you know ku, kujileta tena upya upya so for me ukiniuliza um tamwambia you know a relax atulie aache kufukuzana na hawa kufukuzana na Ruto ni kujitafutia shida Ruto kufukuzana naye he, he, he doesn't care at the end of the day he doesn't care akishamua na kutoa na kutoa he doesn't care so atakuangaisha utatumia pesa nyingi unaona fanya vitu vingine bila fanya vitu acha kufuatilia vitu vingi if hawakutaki maisha ulazimishi and mimi naamini kila kitu kitakaa sawa tukutane kwenye video ambayo inafuata bye bye